Hi, this is Kimberly Brown, editor of The Horse Magazine. We're here today with Dr. Doug Byers from Georgetown, Kentucky. He's a specialist in equine internal medicine and in critical care. And Dr. Byers is going to talk to us today about taking the pulse of your horse and the heart rate. Dr. Byers, where is the best place to look for the pulse of your horse? Well, there are three places that we can check with um, externally. They have an artery right under the rim of the jaw. You take your fingers somewhat in a pointed fashion, just go to the inside of the jawbone, be very obvious to you, and then you'll take those fingers and roll them. Oh, Mayor, you get to comment on that. <clears throat> roll them in this fashion till you pick up the actual tubular structure of the artery and the vein together. And they actually come out towards the front, and they'll be right in this area, right in here, and circle to the inside. So once you identify where they're at, just push them against the bone. And I'm picking up her pulse right now. And you use the bone as the compression area that's rigid and very simple to pick up the pulse. And again, she ought to have a rate somewhere between 36 and 44 at rest. And that's the easiest one to find uh, it, for for that. Another area that you can do is the inside of the leg has what's called the radial artery and uh, it's harder to find. You have to press against the muscle. This radial artery runs right down in this area here and you take your hand over that area and feel in this way. And again, increase the surface area by having all your fingers close together on that. Whereas when you do the jaw, the inside of the jaw, you take your fingers this way, but it's not kind of like you're playing the piano rather than getting a whole lot of surface area. The other place that um, everyone is familiar with because of laminitis is to get the digital artery, which is between the fetlock and the upper part of the hoof area. There's a small groove right here. And the vein, artery, and nerve, and they are in that order, vein, artery, nerve, are in this depression. And you put your hand there with your thumb and your inside of your hand to the inside of the foot. And you can feel the digital pulse. Now this mare has a digital pulse, but she's not foundered. And that's an important point because when veterinarians describe a digital pulse associated with laminitis, they talk about a bounding pulse. And this is not a bounding pulse. I just literally can get her heart rate by putting my hand on each side. And again, there's a depression. Put your hand to the front of the pastern, and you can feel the depression on both the outside of the foot and the inside. Very easy to do. Most of the other areas we don't check for pulse. Um, uh, you can go under the tail. That's an area where we get blood pressure readings on horses. But... Uh, it's not as sensitive and it's not a good area. And if you have a colicky horse or one that won't stand still for you to check the pulse in these areas, what do you suggest? Then you, you have to resort to the stethoscope because you don't want to get anybody hurt trying to go to the inside of the leg. And if the head is moving constantly, you can't get an external maxillary artery uh, as easily. So the stethoscope will be placed right behind this area. And you push forward on the right side more than the left, but you just... Set it here and pick up the heart itself. Uh, the, the common technique is to count 15 seconds, the number of beats for 15 seconds, and multiply by four, and that'll give you a heart rate per minute, which is usually in a horse like this be about 36 to 44. So that's just a normal resting heart rate for an adult horse? Correct. Okay. Thank you very much. Again, this is The Horse Magazine. I'm Kimberly Brown, and we thank Dr. Doug Byers today.